As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson. And you're in a valley right now. And there are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective, independent justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Barbara Nielsen is suing chef Mark Stevenson in the amount of $600. Ms. Nielsen claims Mr. Stevenson was deceptive about the terms of his cooking classes and says he refused to refund her money once she discovered the truth. Ms. Nielsen, you're suing Mr. Stevenson for $600 and this represents money you paid for a cooking course, is that right? Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. Okay. And what do you do for a living, ma'am? Um, I'm a home business owner. Okay, you work from home? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and, and you are a chef? Yes, I'm a culinary chef that uh -huh. uh, now teaches. And how long have you been a chef? Um, I've been a chef for about, it's about 18 years. Mm -hmm. I've been teaching for about 10. Okay, so do you work at a restaurant? Are you cater? Or? Not anymore. I used to work at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I was uh, did some restaurants in New York. I also did some in Paris. Uh -huh. um, and then when I moved to Idaho, uh -huh. I saw an opportunity to kind of help spread some of the world cuisine and okay. teach some people in the local area. So you don't have any one specialty? You can uh, cook Italian, I have multiple, Greek, yeah. mm -hmm. it, you know, French. You've got the whole gamut going. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So you operate a cooking school. That's correct. Okay. How'd you find out about his cooking school? Your Honor, I found out through my friend Janet. She okay. was taking a, a French cooking cuisine class from Mark. Okay. And, and how well do you know Janet? I know Janet well. We've been friends for a long time, and okay. she spoke really highly of Mark and his school. Okay. So what course were you interested in taking from him? I was interested in taking all the courses he offered. Right. Like, when, so what courses do you offer? We have courses in uh, Japanese, French, Korean, uh -huh. um, Italian, right. and also the pizza making course. You assume that whoever's coming to your class knows how to cook. No, um, we take all kinds of experience right. levels. But you don't offer like a basic kitchen skills course or just a knife course, a course ser uh, solely on baking fundamentals, anything like that? Not. To, we, we include some of those elements in the course for right. the first uh, day. Um, so but you're we don't teaching have to... people who don't know how to cook. Say Chris doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> he comes to the Japanese course. You start off how with him? So we start off, so day one we bring everybody in and we keep our class size small. It's a max of eight people. Okay. So so we keep it intimate so that way I can cater to each individual's um, experience right. level. So if I see that somebody's brand new, I'm going to start with some of those brand new things with them right. and also make sure that everybody's so kind of up to speed. So if you can't even cut a tomato, you incorporate basic kitchen cooking skills in any course. That's correct. All right. So you wanted to take the French course. Well, Your Honor, I wanted to just take the, the course to obtain knowledge to be no to be able to cook international cuisine. Right. I, I well, he doesn't have that. You had to pick an international cuisine. You had to pick Japanese, Italian, French, mm -hmm. is what I'm hearing. Well, Your Honor, that's not what I, my understanding was. Okay, is there a website or where'd you get your understanding from? Um, there is a website, Your Honor, but when I spoke to Mark, I right. referred to him through word of mouth through my friend Janet okay. and told him my love of learning of a of uh, Japanese okay. and French cuisine. Okay. And he told me to bring him cash and sign up immediately. Bring for cash. Yeah, Your Honor, what happened was uh, she called me 24 hours before the start of my pizza making class. Okay. Okay. Uh, the day before, I had someone that canceled, backed out of the class, so I had a spot open, which does not happen that quickly normally. I said, I have the pizza making class ready to go. I got a spot open tomorrow. Normally, I have people go through my website to use their credit card, uh -huh. but because she had mentioned that she had some identity theft issues in the past, I completely understood. And right. I said, Well, look, why you don't you just, just come tomorrow and bring the money? Just come in tomorrow, bring some cash. Did and we'll you, you ever go look at his website? page to see you know what he was offering and reviews um, and comments pictures any of that everybody does that these days I understand your honor I did not you I didn't do that well I made it clear to him that I was doing it through word of mouth and yeah, I did but not you work from home you're sitting in front of a computer all day long what would it taken you to put his name in and take a look at his website um, not How much, much was the class? I did six hundred dollars before I spent six hundred dollars on a cooking class with somebody I didn't know I would have done a little bit of research. I totally agree, Your Honor. Okay, and but you didn't do that. You went over there the next day with a, with a pocket full of cash well, to the pizza-making class. <laughs> 
So you get over to the class and what happens? Well, Your Honor, I did send an email before okay. I went to the class. What did you say in the email? In the email, um, I was very clear to him. What that, did you say in the email? Hi, Mark. It was a pleasure to meet you on the phone. I will not be enrolling on the website because I'm very careful about how I show my information online. Like I said, identity theft is a big concern of mine. So thank you for accommodating me. I'm confirming that I'm attending the pizza making class tomorrow. Like I told you, the free courses were a big selling point for me. So free cooking courses for the whole year after paying for just one? I'll bring the cash tomorrow and pay for the first course like you asked. Your Honor, I didn't sign up for a year's worth of pizza classes. Coming up on Supreme Justice. I gave him the money 24 hours and nor never during that time of giving him $600 cash did he say I was foregoing my opportunity to cancel the class. It was deceptive. You know how many pizzas you could have bought with that? <laughs> Forget about trying to make one. And later, my ex-husband threw away some lip filler that I bought for my daughter. Some lip filler? <laughs> She's 18 years old. It seems to me this should have been a conversation. Closed captioning provided by... If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Barbara Nielsen, who is suing Mark Stevenson for fraud. I don't understand. What, what are the free classes? So the way that it works, Your Honor, is when somebody pays for their first course, right. uh, they are then eligible to come back, because I have multiple courses throughout the year. In so this... you could take the next course for free? Yeah, and it sticks with, so if you come in and Take you, the pizza class. You take the pizza class I can class take course. the Japanese class for free. You take, it continues with the pizza making course for the rest of the year. So if you come so in... So there's several parts to the pizza making. It's pizza making 101, pizza making 202, pizza making 303. You can take the rest of pizza for the year. For the whole year. How many parts are there of each course? So we have the, the multiple courses are actually, it's, it's not necessarily like a, a step system. It's more of a each course we take a different um, take on like the pizzas. So right, right, right. There's not just a a, a, a normal kind of pizza. Right. There's you might want to have one with a pizza. cauliflower crust right. or something cauliflower like that. Crust okay, or, I get it. You know, vegetarian pizza. And exactly. We have different Making options sauce. That we go Making pizza sauce. Right. And so toppings over, class. That's it. That's so, it. but how many of those classes are there? Uh, each year we do two to three, depending on how the schedule works. So it's out. only two or three classes. So mm -hmm. if you buy what, what you're saying is you told them you buy class one, mm -hmm. you could get to take the other two classes in that series for free. For free, that's correct. Okay, so in this case, she bought one pizza class, mm -hmm. which was $600. You know how many pizzas you could have bought with that? <laughs> Forget <laughs> about trying to make one. She paid $600 and she was basically spending $200 per course, really. Those if, three if she were classes. To, if she, yeah, if she were to attend all three classes, it would be divided up that way. Right. And the reason why we charge for that amount is it's not only just the class, but there's also all the ingredients. I, I provide right. all the organic ingredients, right. all the tools, the utensils, the facility is beautiful. You don't get that everywhere, you know? And, right. and, and Well, let me hear about this day, this day at the pizza class. Well, Tell me what happened. How many people were there? There were eight people there, Your eight Honor. Eight people. And, so and what, what did you learn that day? I learned how to put some yeast in the crust and make it rise. Right. Yeah. but That's I mean, a pretty big feat right there. It, it, it was. How to make I some mean, bread rise. It's definitely an art. And we learned a lot, Your right. Honor. But $600 is not a drop in the pan. And right. I made it very clear to him that I wanted to learn international okay, cuisine. Okay, but you took the, the pizza class. And then what happened? Well, at the end of the class. How long was it? Two hours? It's about a two hour, yeah. Okay, at the end of the class. He handed a piece of paper, which I guess was the fine print. I had no idea that there was a fine print. And right. I gave him every opportunity to well, tell well, me. What was the fine print? Your Honor, on my on my website was, and my flyers. She was deceptive. And also at the end of the class, I right. give out the details and it, it outlines everything. And, and what I just explained to you about how the courses work. Let me see it. Sure. Let me course. see what's outlined. <clears throat> I told you you should have gone to that website. <laughs> Instead of listening to Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Offers two courses every month with four weekly classes of course. Once you pay for your first course, you can take the same course again for one year totally free. But it says the same course. Okay, what was the other thing? This terms and conditions is on your website? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, in Refunds the letter... are available up to 48 hours before the beginning of the class. After that, 
a 20% refund is available if you cancel before the first class. Your Honor, I gave him the money 24 hours and nor never during that time of giving him $600 cash did he say that I, for, for, I was foregoing my opportunity to cancel the class. It was deceptive. I, so you're saying, uh, I guess it's a full refund because it just says refunds mm -hmm. are available up to 48 hours before the beginning of the class, two days before. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a full refund. It just says refunds. Correct. After that, a 20% refund is available if you cancel before the class. So you're saying you told him after the class, I'm not interested in doing this. Your Honor, I even tried to negotiate with him to have me swapped into a different class. Right. And the misunderstanding. And right. he wasn't able to accommodate that either. Right. You, so, so did she tell you that she misunderstood this free class thing? Yeah, at the end of class. Look how I, long it took us to get an understanding about those classes. Sure. If she had gone to the website before and read the details, right. I assumed in my conversation with her, um, because we were rushed and trying to get her into the class, right. When she talked to Janet, right. she, she knew what other courses I offered. Right. I assumed that she had read the details before right. she came in. You should have told her. You knew she wasn't coming through your website where maybe she would have read it and maybe not, but at least you got it up there. Now we're on the phone together. You're telling somebody, bring me cash, and you don't say to her that you understand that there's no refunds. Mm -hmm. You're outside of that refund time. You had an obligation to tell her that. Yeah, you're on, and you're right. I should have mentioned that. I think... For me, it was more about, I was trying last minute to get her into my class because she mm -hmm. sounded like she really wanted to be in it. Mm -hmm. And I don't it, know what kind of person pays $600 to learn the same thing over and over again for a year. I could make a pizza without, you can go to YouTube and learn how to make a pizza. You should have told her that. You should have told her that, you know, you're gonna lose your money. You didn't tell her, so I'm gonna hold that against you. Judgment for the plaintiff. You got a free class because you got $600 coming back. All rise. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff the defendant is ordered to pay $600. You had every opportunity to be specific with me and you chose not to. All of the information is on my website. I can't be responsible for holding people's hands. Coming up. My ex-husband threw away some lip filler that I bought for my daughter. Some lip filler? I'm sorry. I've been dealing with how she feels about herself right. since she was little. Since right. Todd and I broke up 10 years ago, right. it, it's affected her. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Ashley Peterson is suing her ex-husband, Todd Murdoch, in the amount of $480. Ms. Peterson claims Mr. Murdoch threw out her daughter's expensive lip filler and says he needs to pay up. Mr. Murdoch is countersuing for $1,000. So, Ms. Peterson, you're suing your ex-husband and your father, is that right? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay, and this is your daughter? Yes, my beautiful baby girl. My ex-husband threw away some lip filler that I bought for my daughter. Some lip filler? <laughs> yes, lip okay. filler. How old are you? I'm 18. So, tell me about this lip filler thing. Um, so, I got in lip injections. Right. Uh, Why, why'd you do that at your age? I mean, I've seen other girls do it. Some of my friends have done it. Right. And, you know, on social media, you see a lot of girls get enhancements, right. and I want it to look better. Well, you're a pretty girl. Yes, she Thank is. You. You're so beautiful, baby. Um, and you know what? You don't do stuff just because everybody else is doing it. I mean, I just wanted to feel better about right. how I look. Like, people put on makeup, people dye their hair. Right. So I just Was wanted to Was this the try first this. time you had ever done anything like this, any type of beauty enhancements? Yeah. Okay, and so, Mom, what's your, what's your uh, role in all of this? I don't really see anything wrong with filler for her. If right. it's gonna help boost her self-esteem, right. and that's why I wanted her or Well, did she have low self-esteem before? Yes, Your Honor. I've been dealing with, um... I'm sorry. I've been dealing with how she feels about herself right. since she was little. Since right. Todd and I broke up 10 years ago, right. it, it's affected her. That probably is what the self-esteem issue is about is being a child of divorced parents, not about whether her lips are thick enough. Todd, did you notice that your daughter was having some self-esteem issues? When she was younger, we did notice some signs that like there might what? be like some self-esteem issues. She would look in the mirror, come out a little you know, frazzled and crying. I'm like, you know, baby, what's right. wrong? So you didn't know she was getting no. the fillers? No, I did not know. Coming up. She's 18 years old. It seems to me this should have been a conversation. But as a loving father, for me to see that, baby, you don't need that, throw right. it away. 
closed captioning provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Ashley Peterson, who is suing Todd Murdoch for property loss. You find out that she's getting fillers. Why are you suing him about it? He just threw them away once he found... It's not just the filler. She had the filler first, right? right. And after the filler, we went back to the doctor. He gave her an application, some right. type of balm to put right. on her lips. So that's right. what she had. He walked in the bathroom, saw her with that, and right. just threw it away. He didn't right. even talk to me about it. Okay, what say... was this? When you were staying at his house? Yes. Okay, who paid for it? My mom. So you paid for it? Yes, I did. So you decided to just throw them out? Right. Right. And uh, You didn't notice that she had had something done to her mouth? No, I did not. So it's, I guess it's a very gradual type thing. Right. Yeah. And then I, I found out she's like injecting herself or doing something with, the, with this lip filler stuff. Right. And I, you know what I mean? I like freaked out and I threw the stuff in the trash. Like, baby, you don't need you just you're right, Wait, wait, wait. You just grabbed the stuff and throw it in the garbage? Yeah, I threw it I away. I mean, what right. kind of adult, non-adult move Thank is that? You. I need well, you to stop doing that, please, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Honor. She's 18 years old. It seems to me this should have been a conversation. But as a loving father, for me to see that, my daughter going in that direction, right. I kind of just, you know, I just threw it you, Baby, you don't need that. Threw right. it away. This is not what you need. Okay, but it wasn't yours to throw away. Yeah, but my girl is using it. Right. Okay. So if, how, if, what has let's changed? Let's say she bought drugs. Am I not supposed to throw it away? What mm -hmm. has changed in your dynamic with her since you threw her stuff away? I immediately got us in, a, in some counseling lessons. So you're all in therapy now? Yes. yes. How, how many sessions have you been to? Um, we go like once a week, so not that many. Okay. So how's that working out? At first, I thought it was a little bit weird, but I think it helps to talk about your right. feelings. Um, I have a, uh, a receipt here. Right. And I, I am, you know countersuing for these therapy sessions for a half. You're suing your ex-wife for... Why should she be responsible? Your daughter's grown. I feel that if she wants me to pay for this lip filler stuff that doesn't work, it's she a She doesn't want you to pay for it. She wants you to reimburse her because you threw it well, out. She wants to... Yeah, exactly. She wants okay, me to reimburse this, her. Okay, but she's a grown woman now. These are your responsibilities. Dad, I'm a man. I'm showing my daughter what a man is like. That a that's, man that's handles true, and I things. I agree, but we're a family. We do stuff as a family. No, no, we used to be a family. No, we're, we're still not a really family. a family now. I mean, we still have a beautiful daughter that right, we're raising. Right, you do, but you're not so a family. So in that aspect, we're still a but family. But you're not... If you get married and have some children and she gets married, you're not a family. Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. Promotional consideration provided by... You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. I hope you stick with the therapy. You can't find happiness outside yourself like that. You know, you, you see people, they lose a lot of weight, they get the implants, they get the Botox and all that, and they're still unhappy. Because those things don't make you happy, because those things just change the outside. And so now, Daddy has done a good thing by putting you in therapy so you can work at what's really missing on the inside, because that's really what this is about. You have to show me the proof of the $480. Let me see your receipt. Yes, Your Honor. Could you please give it to me? Thank you. All right, so it's $480. I'm ready to rule judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $480, and your case is dismissed, sir. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $480. I'm glad the judge saw that you were at fault for throwing away my product. I'll pay you for the product, but I'm just glad that we're able to do what's best for our daughter. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.